Hi, my name's Nick Tan, I'm a 12 string guitarist and I'm going to show you my finger picking style. Um, I'm just going to angle the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Right, um, I've been using this same stuff for quite a few years now and basically all I do is I use my thumb and my first finger. My thumb will play these three strings here, or these six strings here, and my finger, this first finger here, will just play these six strings up here. So this is how I used to practice at home in front of the TV uh, for, for a while until I kind of got it right. So it's this. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing the first string here, then these three strings, and then just rolling it. Then I change it and choose the next string, which is the A string. So then you can make up a little exercises for yourself by also then going to this open string here, which is a D. I've actually got a capo on just to give it a little bit more, um, just to make it a little bit brighter. Um, so this is your first exercise will be thumb, then the next one. Don't worry about muting anything. a mistake just carry on so I'll make a few little mistakes there it doesn't really matter the thing is to keep playing a lot of pupils I've had in the past is they do something they make a mistake and then have to stop and start again don't worry about that just keep it rolling then you can speed up a bit So, like I say, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. In fact, you can do it again. You might have heard me hit a string twice. Um, that can be good. And then once you've got the hang of that, then you can start to add the chords. But don't add the chords straight away. Make sure that you're, you're kind of comfortable with what you're playing. Um, Use some nice simple melodic chords. I'm just going to use, like I say, I've got a capo on here. I'm just going to use an A, an A7, A minor seventh chord, and a simple E. I'm not even going to do a full E minor, it's an E minor, E minor seven. Yeah. So nice and simple with the same pattern again. Okay, so let's just go over what we, what we started off with. Just these three strings with your thumb, these three or six strings with your finger, and then... Nice and simple. Then, if you want to add some chords, I use these chords, which is an A minor seventh and an E minor seventh. Just to give it a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of a tune. And you'll hear, as you play around, you'll start to hit sometimes just the octave. And if you make a mistake, Okay, good luck.